what is up guys welcome back to my channel for another vlog in the dubai series if you're new here my name is safisa and if you're not new thanks for coming back so today i think we're going to do a different style today i want to see how far 100 usd can go i'm going to convert that into aed the local currency here in dubai and we're just going to see how much it goes from this whole day first off we've got um saturday brunch which is quite popular here you guys may know it as friday brunch and i believe this is the first year that it's I don't know something to do with the calendars it's now changed and it's now on a saturday because i think the weekend the weekend used to be friday and saturday but it's now saturday and sunday i think don't quote me i'll confirm down below once again go in the description box but yeah we're on a challenge to see how far 100 usd can go and spoiler alert it doesn't go far it doesn't go far so the question is will i eat dinner yes or no <laughs> anyway let's go let's make our way to uh, where are we going hyatt regency creek i believe which is where we're doing our Saturday brunch. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just got a taxi from our hotel to the hotel that we're actually eating at. It's Hyatt Regency, which funnily enough, we didn't realize this one is in old Dubai. So it was quite a long drive, about 30, 40 minutes away. And that cost 21 AED each, which means on my budget, I'm left with 347 AED. And the day's only just started. Let's see. Yeah, the second one, that's one. That's the one, yeah. This one with alcohol, second of wine, spirit, beer, yeah. and sparkling wine. The price is 369 per person. And then the third one, we have champagne packet, 569. Oh, what's, what's the last one? The champagne. Uh, champagne. 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 Yeah. Are there cocktails? Oh, no, actually, cocktail is not included. No cocktails. Um, spirit, yeah. Wine, beer. But I think I'll do soft drinks because then I'll yeah. add. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, I find it so interesting because this restaurant is actually revolving. You can see the line, focus on the line and where the building is. It's so cool. And it basically means that our view keeps changing and we get to see all around the city. It's amazing. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is very cool. <laughs> so it's interesting, but it's from that point where the black line is. It's this part that's revolving. Obviously, that part is stationary. And around here, that's the part that is rotating around and allowing us to see all of this. So it's self-service from the buffet station, but you need to wear a mask when you go over there. <laughs> Let's go see what they have. Oh, but guys, this is a good way to show you how we're rotating. Previously, we had this entire unobstructed view, and now you can see we're about to get the blinds. Oh, I find that so fascinating. Anyway, let's go. Okay. I'm gonna take so some steam quite vegetable. a lot of options. There's more when we go this side. Oh wow. Alright. This is actually a really good deal. They're gonna kill me with food. The oh, oh. And my family has just responded before I went. Oh, and duck wrap. Okay, I will be back for this. Look at this, guys. There's even more. I'm going to try it. 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 I'm going
So cool, the buffet is now right in front of us. You remember before we had to walk around to get there. But because we're constantly spinning, it's now here. So next time we'll just wait for it. Just time it and walk. Just wanted to check in and show you guys the new view that we now have. The city, the buildings are all behind us. That large building is behind us. And we've got this lovely view. And we've got a different section of the buffet in front of us. All right, guys, so we just finished that brunch, which was amazing. Mama City, what did you think? Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was really great lunch. Um, we're stuffed, like I can barely move. I can barely move, but it wasn't good for the budget. That cost 249 AED, which means I'm now left with 97 AED. And you may think, well, why did you go for an expensive meal? It isn't, because that is actually breakfast and lunch together. And let me tell you this, breakfast at our hotel breakfast at our hotel cost 20 pounds which is about 90 AED and then lunch would have cost god knows 200 so it's literally the same off aircon, so this brunch really is about the same price that we would have paid for breakfast and for lunch at our hotel but you get a lot more food coming for the brunch and unlimited drinks so that's a top tip actually if you're here on a Saturday definitely recommend going out for brunch now I've got 97 left. Let's see how that far that goes. We've got the taxi home mm -hmm. and then the taxi back out. I'll keep you updated. Okay guys, a bit of travel reality for you. Um, we came back from that restaurant, the revolving restaurant, um, grabbed a taxi back home which cost 20 AED each, which means I'm now left with 77 AED. The plan was to head back out um, to go to Dubai Mall, have a look around, see the fountain show and have dinner there. But literally starting from our journey back home, I started feeling a bit weak and nauseous. Um, by the time we got back to the hotel, game over. Um, I have been sick at now. It's now 9.30. I've been sick 12 times. Um, the nurse thinks that it's motion sickness. So <laughs> there goes that. I was having a great time in the revolving restaurant, but my body was not co-signing. So anyway, I haven't been able to leave the hotel and I'm still left with 77 AED. I think I'm going to carry that budget forward to tomorrow. Um, it'll probably get me through breakfast. Barely. Um, yeah. Just thought I'd come in, check in. I don't want to just cut the vlog here because I think it is important to have a bit of travel reality. It doesn't always go according to plan. And some days you just feel like shit. And that's me today, absolutely suffering. This is the only position I can stay in. Um, otherwise I throw up. So, but yeah, I'll come back in tomorrow morning and we can continue the challenge. Hopefully I will be feeling a lot better. Okay guys, so I'm feeling a little bit better today, so we are going to go forward with the video. And the best part is yesterday, when we came back to the hotel, the plan was to go to Dubai Mall. Obviously, I couldn't make it because I was unwell, but that is exactly what we're about to do now. So we can continue with the video as if nothing ever happened. So first thing, we need to get a taxi to Dubai Mall. Alright, so that taxi ride was 14 AED each, which means I'm now left with 64 AED in total. Sorry guys, they speed like crazy over here. But anyway, 64 AED left. Um, let's see what that can get me. Maybe some chips? I don't know. We'll see. I'm very excited to see Dubai Mall. This is my first time coming out. And I'm already impressed just by the car park. I'm already impressed. Of course they've got an ice rink in the mall.
Oh great, there's the Dubai fountain, the main reason that we actually came out here but I do also want to check out the Dubai aquarium so let's go there first. As with everything in Dubai you can already tell that this is pretty massive and going to be overwhelming but it's already late um, and we've got plans actually we leave tomorrow so we're not going to bother joining the queue and checking out the aquarium but I have included prices for you guys if you want to go in and see what that's like and you can let me know in the comments should we have gone in was that a missed op anyway let's go find the fountain show that's the one thing that I really really wanted to see so they've got a massive Sephora here, we've got Ted Baker, we've got Coach, we've got Balmain, basically any brand you've ever heard of is here in Dubai Mall. Which makes sense considering it's the largest mall in the world, you wouldn't expect any of this. Ah, thanks. Oh wow. We finally found the fountain. I mean, look at this. This is insane. Now guys, the fountain show is absolutely incredible and I hope these clips give you guys a glimpse of that. However, we did notice an issue with perverts here. Some men used this as an opportunity to come behind women and rub up against them. Whilst the fountain show was full of people, it wasn't so crowded that these men needed to rub or thrust against you. There was definitely room for them to step back a little bit. Absolutely go to the show and enjoy yourself, but just be ready to kick and elbow some people who do not respect boundaries. Okay guys, I am now back at the hotel. We took a taxi from Dubai Mall, which cost 14 AED each, which leaves me with a balance 
I can't remember but I'll put it on the screen here and the reason I do have money left over is because I didn't eat dinner I have no appetite I told you guys I'm feeling quite unwell at the moment so I didn't end up eating dinner which is why I have money left but if I had eaten dinner I would definitely be bankrupt because Dubai is expensive it is there's no getting around it Dubai is expensive go check out my other vlogs because I've been making sure to include prices as we go along just to give you guys an indication of how much to budget for speaking of which this is the last vlog in Dubai because we're actually heading back home tomorrow morning however it is not the last video in the series because i'm going to make a travel guide and budget guide to help you plan your own trip to dubai so make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell button so you don't miss those videos and i'll see you guys very soon ciao